Hello, I'm Dr. Gretchen Brophy from Virginia Commonwealth University Medical College of Virginia School of Pharmacy. And I'm Dr. Karthik Sharma, MD at the Department of Neurology and Neurocritical Care, also from VCU. Today we're talking to you about a review article that we wrote entitled Medical Management of Epileptic Seizures, Challenges and Solutions. Uh, we wrote this review article with our colleagues uh, Dr. Nabil Khankar and Lisa Kshevsky, and we're thankful for their help and support. In writing this, yes, absolutely. Um, and in this article, what we dealt with was epilepsy. We know that almost 3 million patients, adults and children in the United States, are affected by epilepsy. And this is, leads to a large economic impact of over $15 billion. So therefore, in regards to all the different disease states and different concomitant illnesses that our patients have, especially in an ICU setting, we really have to understand epilepsy and the treatment in order to effectively manage our patients and improve outcomes as well as making sure we are safely addressing their concerns and their disease treatment strategies. And I think because the review specifically talks about challenges, we picked out situations which we address and encounter in daily practice mostly in the ICU as well as the inpatient setting, which make it really challenging to deal with these comorbid conditions. Specifically, we thought it would be beneficial to talk about seizures and epilepsy in the setting of pregnancy, HIV AIDS population, the older population with dementia and other age-related illnesses, uh, patients in the ICU who are typically comatose, and a large proportion of whom have non-convulsive seizures and non-convulsive status epilepticus, uh, the large patient population which have pseudo-seizures or non-epileptic psychogenic events which are really challenging to diagnose, and the vast realm of uh, psychiatric comorbidities which also present the interesting challenge of seizure thresholds being decreased because of treatment of the illness as well as interaction between psychotropic medications and anti-epileptic drugs. Yes, and this is a very big challenge for us in the clinical setting in regards to these concomitant illnesses in addition to epilepsy. There are multiple drug interactions that can occur, multiple disease states that can also impact drug effects and side effects, and we really have to be cognizant of these. And the more we know about these agents, especially with you know all the new agents coming to market mm -hmm. in the last 20 years, we really have to be aware of these issues and make sure we address those, again, to optimize patient care. And I think that's the reason we've included in the review article information about all the new anti-epileptic drugs, mm -hmm. their doses, routes of administration. We've also included exhaustive tables that talk about uh, interaction with different classes of drugs like newer anticoagulants, uh, HIV medications, and the idea being, you know, all of this information is, is, is what practitioners the world over look for in the clinical setting. And our review is, is, is aimed at any practitioner, but particularly neurologists, mostly in the community setting uh, where this information will be valuable on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes. So after reading our article, we hope that this will help you identify those challenges and also find the solution for your specific patient so that you can improve the care of our patients with epilepsy. And, and on the research side of things, hopefully we, we brought up all the new data and uh, research that's been going on, and this probably can fuel further research uh, in terms of understanding epilepsy and all of these comorbid situations much better. So thank you very much for reading our article, and we hope that it helps you everyday clinical practice as well as research. Thank, thank you. you.